Welcome back. I'm Logan, your host for the Daily Bible Reading Podcast, where we are journeying through the Bible chronologically, taking it one day at a time. Today is day number 87, and today we're going to be looking at Joshua chapter 19 to 21. So glad that you're with me today. We're going to be finishing up the allotments of the tribes as they've gotten into the promised land. So I'm excited to get into that with you, even though it means butchering lots more names. But before we get started, let's pray. Today's prayer comes from Piercing Heaven, Prayers of the Puritans, collected by Robert Elmer. This prayer is entitled A Prayer of Surrender. And it's by the Puritan, Joseph Aline. Who am I, Lord, that I should make any claim on you, or have any part or portion in you, when I am not worthy to lick the dust of your feet? But since you hold out your mercy to me, and you bid me come, I would be undone to rebel against you in false humility. So I bow my soul to you with all possible thankfulness. I accept you as my own, and I give myself up to you, my king. You will be sovereign over me, my king and my God. You will be on the throne, and I bow all my strength to you. I will come and worship before your feet. You will be my portion, Lord, and I will rest in you. You called for my heart. Oh, that it were in any way fit for your acceptance. I am unworthy, Lord, everlastingly unworthy to be yours. But since you will have it so, I freely give up my heart to you. Take it. It's yours. Oh, that it were better. But, Lord, I put it into your hand, who alone can mend it. Mold it after your own heart. Make it as you would have it. Humble, heavenly, soft, tender, and flexible. Write your law on it. Come, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Enter in triumphantly. Take me up to you forever. I give myself up to you. I come to you as the only way to the Father, as the only mediator, the means God ordained to bring me to God. I have destroyed myself, but in you is my help. Save, Lord, or I perish. I come to you with a rope about my neck. I am worthy to die and to be damned. Never was the wage more due to the worker than death and hell are due to me. But I fly to your merits. I trust alone the value and virtue of your sacrifice, knowing that you will always intercede for me. I submit to your teaching. I choose your government over me. Stand open everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in. Amen. All right, here we go. Let's get started with Joshua chapter 19 to 21. Chapter 19. The second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans. And their inheritance was in the midst of the inheritance of the people of Judah. And they had for their inheritance Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazar Shual, Bala, Ezem, El Toldad, Bethel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaoth, and Sharuhin, thirteen cities with their villages. Ain, Rimon, Ether, and Ashan, four cities with their villages, together with all the villages around these cities, as far as Baalath Bear, Rama of the Negev. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Simeon, according to their clans. The inheritance of the people of Simeon formed part of the territory of the people of Judah, because the portion of the people of Judah was too large for them. The people of Simeon obtained an inheritance in the midst of their inheritance. The third lot came up for the people of Zebulun, according to their clans, and the territory of their inheritance reached as far as Sarid. Then their boundary goes up westward and on to Mariel and touches Dabesheth, then the brook that is east of Jokneam. From Sarid, it goes in the other direction eastward, toward the sunrise, to the boundary of Chisloth-Tabor. 
From there it goes to Dabaroth, then up to Japhia. From there it passes along the east toward the sunrise, to gath Hefer, to eth Kazin, and going on to Rimmon, it bends toward Nea. Then on the north the boundary turns about to han Nathon, and it ends at the valley of Ithtehel, and Katath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idalah, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Zebulun, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the people of Issachar, according to their clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Chesoloth, Shunem, Hafaraim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabith, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, Enganim, Enhada, Bethpazes. The boundary also touches Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and its boundary ends at the Jordan. Sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Issachar, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of the people of Asher, according to their clans. Their territory included Helkoth, Hali, Betan, Aksaf, Alamalek, Ahmad, and Mishal. On the west, it touches Carmel and Shehor Libnoth. Then it turns eastward. It goes to Beth Dagon and touches Zebulun and the valley of Ithphatel northward to Beth Emek and Neiel. Then it continues in the north to Kabul, Ebron, Rehob, Hamon, Cana, as far as Sidon the Great. Then the boundary turns to Ramah, reaching to the fortified city of Tyre. Then the boundary turns to Hosa, and it ends at the sea. Mahalab, Akzib, Uma, Afek, and Rehob, twenty-two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Asher, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out for the people of Naphtali, for the people of Naphtali according to their clans, and their boundary ran from Helef, from the oak in Zaananim, and Adami Nekeb, and Jabniel, as far as Lakum, and it ended at the Jordan. Then the boundary turns westward to Asnoth Tabor, and it goes from there to Hukok, touching Zebulun at the south, and Asher on the west, and Judah on the east at the Jordan. The fortified cities are Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Chinnereth, Adama, Rama, Hatzor, Kedesh, Edre, Inhatzor, Yiron, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Naphtali, according to their clans, the cities with their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of the people of Dan, according to their clans, and the territory of its inheritance included Zora, Eshtaal, Ir Shemesh, Sha'alabin, Aijalon, Isla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Elteke, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Benebarak, Gath Rimon, and Mejarkon and Rakon, with the territory over against Joppa. When the territory of the people of Dan was lost to them, the people of Dan went up and fought against Leshem. And after capturing it and striking it with the sword, they took possession of it and settled in it, calling Leshem Dan after the name of Dan their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the people of Dan, according to their clans, these cities with their villages. When they had finished distributing the several territories of the land as inheritances, the people of Israel gave an inheritance among them, to Joshua the son of Nun. By command of the Lord they gave him the city that he asked, Timnath Sarah, in the hill country of Ephraim, and he rebuilt the city and settled in it. These are the inheritances that Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel distributed by Lot at Shiloh before the Lord, at the entrance of the tent of meeting. So they finished dividing the land. Chapter 20 Then the Lord said to Joshua, Say to the people of Israel, Appoint the cities of refuge, of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the manslayer who strikes any person without intent or unknowingly may flee there. They shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. 
He shall flee to one of these cities, and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city, and explain his case to the elders of that city. Then they shall take him into the city, and give him a place, that he shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood pursues him, they shall not give up the manslayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unknowingly, and he did not hate him in the past. And he shall remain in that city until he has stood before the congregation for judgment, until the death of him who is high priest at the time. Then the manslayer may return to his own town and his own home, to the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kedesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan east of Jericho, they appointed Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the people of Israel and for the stranger sojourning among them, that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there, so that he might not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, till he stood before the congregation. Chapter 21 Then the heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites came, to Eleazar the priest, and to Joshua the son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers' houses of the tribes of the people of Israel. And they said to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, The Lord commanded through Moses that we be given cities to dwell in, along with their pasture lands for our livestock. So by command of the Lord, the people of Israel gave to the Levites the following cities and pasture lands out of their inheritance. The lot came out for the clans of the Kohathites. So the Levites who were descended of Aaron the priest received by lot from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin, thirteen cities. And the rest of the Kohathites received by lot from the clans of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh, ten cities. The Gershonites received by lot from the clan of the tribe of Issachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan, thirteen cities. The Merarites, according to their clans, received from the tribe of Reuben, the tribe of Gad, and the tribe of Zebulun, twelve cities. These cities and their pasture lands the people of Israel gave by lot to the Levites, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. Out of the tribe of the people of Judah and the tribe of the people of Simeon, they gave the following cities mentioned by name, which went to the descendants of Aaron, one of the clans of the Kohathites, who belonged to the people of Levi, since the lot fell to them first. They gave them Kiriath Arba, Arba being the father of Anak, that is, Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, along with the pasture lands around it. But the fields of the city and its villages had been given to Caleb the son of Jephunneh as his possession. And to the descendant of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron, the city of refuge for the manslayer with its pasture lands, Libna with its pasture lands, Jatir with its pasture lands, Eshtimoa with its pasture lands, Holon with its pasture lands, Debir with its pasture lands, Ain with its pasture lands, Juta with its pasture lands, Beth Shemesh with its pasture lands, nine cities out of these two tribes. Then out of the tribe of Benjamin, Gibeon with its pasture lands, Geba with its pasture lands, Anathoth with its pasture lands, and Almon with its pasture lands, four cities. The cities of the descendants of Aaron the priests were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. As to the rest of the Kohathites, belonging to the Kohathite clans of the Levites, the cities allotted to them were out of the tribe of Ephraim. To the given Shechem, the city of refuge for the manslayer with its pasture lands in the hill country of Ephraim, Gezer with its pasture lands, Kibzaim with its pasture lands, Beth Haran with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Dan, Eltike with its pasture lands, Gibeathon with its pasture lands, Ijalon with its pasture lands, Gathrimon with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, to Anak with its pasture lands, and Gath Rimon with its pasture lands, two cities. The cities of the clans of the rest of the Kohathites were ten in all with their pasture lands. And to the Gershonites, one of the clans of the Levites, were given out of the half tribe of Manasseh, 
Golan, and Bashan, with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, and Beeshterah, with its pasture lands, two cities. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kishion, with its pasture lands, Dabaroth, with its pasture lands, Jarmuth, with its pasture lands, Inganim, with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mishal, with its pasture lands, Abdon with its pasture lands, Helkath with its pasture lands, and Rehob with its pasture lands. Four cities. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, Kedesh in Galilee with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Hamoth Dor with its pasture lands, and Carton with its pasture lands. Three cities. The cities of the several clans of the Gershonites were in all thirteen cities with their pasture lands. And to the rest of the Levites, the Merarite clans, were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Jochnam with its pasture lands, Kartah with its pasture lands, Dimna with its pasture lands, Nahalal with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer with its pasture lands, Jahaz with its pasture lands, Kedemoth with its pasture lands, and Mephaoth with its pasture lands, four cities. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with its pasture lands, the city of refuge for the manslayer, Mahanaim with its pasture lands, Heshbon with its pasture lands, Jazer with its pasture lands, four cities in all. As for the cities of the several Merarite clans, that is, the remainder of the clans of the Levites, those allotted to them were in all twelve cities. The cities of the Levite in the midst of the possession of the people of Israel were in all 48 cities with their pasture lands. These cities each had its pasture lands around it. So it was with all these cities. Thus the Lord gave to Israel all the land that he swore to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it, and they settled there. And the Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their fathers. Not one of all their enemies had withstood them, for the Lord had given all their enemies into their hands. Not one word of all the good promises that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed. All came to pass. You know, this isn't the first podcast I've ever made. Uh, I've done several others with friends in the past, going all the way back to pretty much the beginning of podcasting. And normally it's a very arduous and and time-consuming process of recording and editing and mixing and finding music that you can use on the podcast and sound clips and things like that to try to put it all together to make a nice finished product. But Anchor.fm makes that all so much easier. Uh, I use Anchor. It is free. And the creation tools that they allow me to use to record and edit the podcast right from my phone or right on my uh, computer, right through my web browser, just make it absolutely effortless. This is an amazing product that they offer uh, absolutely free. And so if you're looking to start a podcast, looking to get anything going, um, if you've got a great idea, I encourage you get out there and do it with Anchor.fm. Uh, the, my favorite part about the entire process with Anchor is that they uh, will actually distribute the podcast for me. So whenever I'm done, whenever I'm all finished recording, I just hit done and I tell them when I want it to be published and it magically goes out to places like Spotify and Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts and everywhere else that you guys listen to. Uh, So it's magical. And you can even make money from your podcast when you get uh, listeners, folks start listening to your podcast, as many people as are listening to the ads that you record, like this one, uh, you end up getting paid for those things. And so it's everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. So if you're interested in starting your own podcast, which I would encourage anybody to do, you've got a voice, we want your voice to be heard, go and download the free Anchor app now. Or go to anchor.fm to get started. Well, there's not a ton here in our reading today that we haven't already covered in other readings. 
Um, one of the things that we may call out would be the selection of the cities of refuge that you see today. Uh, we had already seen three of them chosen on the other side of the Jordan, but now we get the other three chosen on the west side of the Jordan. Um, and we see that each of these six cities, uh, two of them fall in each of the three tribes of Levi, and they fall within the purview of these 48 cities that belong to the Levites. And the Levites get all of their cities named, and they get all of the uh, suburbs around their city. And we get the other tribal allotments of these other six tribes, the other half of the tribes of Israel, of Simeon, Zebulun, Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan. The biggest thing that I want to point out today is the faithfulness of God, the faithfulness of God's promises, even though it takes a while for some of these promises to pan out. If you remember all the way back in Genesis 49, where we saw Jacob on his deathbed giving a prophecy about his sons, he cursed Simeon and Levi there saying, Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty are in their dwelling place. Let not my soul enter their counsel. Let not my honor be united to their assembly. For in their anger, they slew a man. And in their self-will, they hamstrung an ox. Cursed be their anger, for it is fierce, and their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel." And that last sentence is the important part. Recognize that it's Simeon and Levi. And it says, I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. Well, Simeon's tribe receives land within the territory that was previously designated for Judah. Judah's tribe doesn't mind because they've got plenty of land for the amount of people that they have. And nothing seems really unusual about this. But if we think back to this promise, to this consequence of Levi and Simeon setting up a trap and killing the family of Canaanites who had assaulted their sister, then we can understand that Jacob's prophecy comes true as Simeon is scattered through Judah's territory. And also the Levites are scattered in Levite cities throughout every tribal territory in Israel. And so these promises or curses that came many, many years before are coming back to roost. They're showing their fulfillment. God is faithful to bring about all of these things, maybe not in the time that you imagine, but he's going to do it. And that's exactly where our verses end today in Joshua chapter 21. With the successful settlement of the promised land, the Lord has proved that he keeps his word. The Israelites found him faithful, and so will we if we trust in him. Joshua 21, 43 to 45 says, So the Lord gave Israel all the land that he had sworn to his forefathers, and they took possession of it and settled there. And the Lord gave them rest, just as he had sworn their forefathers. And not one of their enemies withstood them, the Lord handed all their enemies over to them, and not one of all the Lord's good promises to the house of Israel failed. Every one of them was fulfilled. All of God's promises have been fulfilled. All of their enemies have been handed over. Though we have seen that though their enemies were handed over, that does not mean that the people of Israel got rid of all those enemies. They have made deals with and subjugated many of those people that we talked about yesterday, that are going to end up coming back to be a thorn in their side later on. But we'll have to see that later. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this has been encouraging to you. If so, please let me know by visiting the links that you find under the Connect With Us section in the show notes. I'm a simple man and I could use the encouragement. If you've been blessed enough that you would like to support the podcast, I would greatly appreciate that as well. You can go to buymeacoffee.com slash DBR podcast to make either a one-time gift or to sign up for a monthly recurring membership gift. Until tomorrow, keep reading and keep worshiping.